So we're back for another cybersecurity glossary video. Today I'm joined by two familiar faces. We've got Mark Olding and Mark Kent from Kaspersky. Kaspersky are a global leader in endpoint security and today's topic is hybrid cloud. So to get to kick off the video, um, Mark Olding, what, what do you mean by the term hybrid cloud? Yeah, so hybrid cloud is really uh, an environment or a network that has um, physical servers, virtual servers, and probably uses uh, something like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud as well. So it's really a mixture of technologies being used to provide services. And this can be for uh, servers, or it can be for end user machines as well. Okay. And Mark, anything to, anything to add to that in your, in sort of your expertise? Yeah, so around the hybrid crowd, it's, uh, it's becoming more relevant than ever, to be honest. Um, with remote work, it was on the rise and it's been on the rise for a long, long time. Um, it's showing employee satisfaction, uh, productivity, and when remote work is properly supported, businesses can enable their remote workers to be as productive as possible. They can ensure their staff can reach whatever resources they require, no matter where they are. And with the growth of digital transformation as well, digital transformation, it's the process of using digital technology to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, domains, and customer experiences to meet the changing business and market requirements. And this is where hybrid cloud has become very, very key to the market. You mentioned um, digital transformation there. I think that's a, it's a term that's been, some would say, overused in recent years. Um, and obviously you, you touched on the fact that it's becoming more relevant with people having to shift back in, in sort of the last nine, 12 months because of obviously coronavirus. Um, and people shift into remote work. So do you see digital transformation and therefore hybrid cloud sort of coming back into relevance and sort of taking off? Yes, 100%, 100%. Um, it's that time where the businesses, they're having to change their, their full mindset. The infrastructures are now changing. Being able to utilize a hybrid cloud environment is going to ensure that your business can grow no matter where your employees are, no matter what your employees require going forwards. As such, you can empower them to become more productive, to become more powerful in their roles. You can tailor their skills, their talents, and you can enhance them by utilizing the hybrid cloud environments that are available to you. Mm -hmm. I think also uh, digital transformation, particularly around that public cloud space, comes with it cost saving, but also a lot of flexibility. So um, if you are using a public cloud again, like AWS as your Google Cloud, you can fire up a bunch of new servers. So um, maybe you're a university who's receiving submissions for people to come to your university. So once a year, you need additional processing power, or maybe you're an online gambling um, organization and you've got uh, a big event coming up like the Cheltenham Gold Cup or something. So you need extra processing power, but you only need it for a couple of weeks or a month. That's really what digital transformation is about, that elast elasticity that you can get. I can fire up these servers, pay for them for the two weeks or month and then um, delete them. I don't need them anymore until the next time I've got a big event. So it's really, you know, that's really one of the main drivers. So yeah, you say flexibility is the, the real main benefit. I think with such a turbulent sort of world that we're living in at the moment, we don't know whether we're coming or going day by day, do we? So um, I think the trends that we're seeing is that remote working is going to stay in at least some capacity. We've all seen the sort of the surveys that are doing the rounds on LinkedIn, whether people prefer to work from the office, work from home, or have some sort of combination of the two. So I think you're saying that the hybrid cloud and digital transformation sort of sits really nicely with with the way things are looking to go. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how does, how, so you probably touched on it already, but how does, how does it kind of work from a physical perspective in terms of if someone isn't using hybrid cloud as a solution, how would they go about installing it or installing it within their organization? I think quite a lot of people are already doing it. Um, you know, whenever you kind of measure up whether you want to have a service on premise and, and that requires a physical or virtual server or whether you want to go for a hosted environment that's going to relieve um, costs and complexity for you, this is really hybrid cloud. So 
um, using anything that's hosted by somebody else rather than a physical machine in your environment. This is this is creating a hybrid cloud environment. OK, fantastic. Well, guys, thank you very much for your time and for sharing your expertise today. Mark Olding and Mark Kent there from Kaspersky talking about hybrid cloud. And hybrid cloud is the topic of our next TP talk session, which is on Tuesday, the 16th of February at 10 a.m. You can find out more about the event by visiting our LinkedIn page or our website. If you have any questions about the event, just reach out because we're always happy to help.